<laughs> no, now my hands are so slippery, I can't open it. It is sticking them up. I'm putting a little tiny, this isn't a little tiny bit, instead of just freckle pen. That's not a pen. This is not quite going <laughs> to plan. <gasps> Hello everyone, welcome back. My hair is currently smothered in a hair mask, which is a little life hack. I've not had the best week, to be honest. I feel like it's been very chaotic, is a word that I would use to describe it. And so I thought I would just sit down and play with some drugstore makeup. I've got so many new things that I've been wanting to test for a while. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it so much if you subscribe. Give this a thumbs up. I'm missing a thumbnail. Give this a thumbs up. <laughs> if you like this kind of video, let me know if there are any other drugstore products that you want me to test in the comments down below. And let's just get into it. Okay, so for my primer, I've got this, which is from Collection. It's the Gorgeous Glow Glossy Serum Primer. And I saw this in Superdrug and I just really liked the look of the texture of it. I think I did actually swatch it in the store. What is that? Yeah, I did actually swatch it in the store and it was just so like silky smooth and just very, very... Okay, this is way too overexposed. Very, very hydrating and glowy. It's got hyaluronic acid in it and glycerin. It sounds like my kind of thing. It says, use as the last step in your skincare routine or in place of your usual makeup primer. So I thought I would give this a go. Please excuse this thumbnail. For some reason the other day I was letting Pinky chew my nails because I was like, oh, she won't be strong enough to break them. She was. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this one on first and it's a gel sort of consistency. Let me just... So let's see, I do have some SPF on already, but it definitely feels very hydrating. I think if you have oily skin, you are not gonna like this because it does have that sort of slip to it. It kind of feels like a skincare product rather than a primer. I mean, I guess like it said, you can use it as the last step in your skincare routine. It's just made my face look a little bit more glowy. Added a bit of hydration actually, it does feel nice, but it, I wouldn't say that it, it doesn't sort of like dry down tacky or anything. It's still slightly like slippery on my face. I think it's made my skin look really nice actually. I look very fresh and just healthy looking. So before I do my foundation, I'm going to do my brows. And this is by Unicorn Cosmetics, which isn't technically a drugstore brand because you can't find it in Boots and Superdrug. However, their stuff is pretty affordable. I think this is about £8. And this is the new and improved formula of their Bare Balm, which is like a super hold brow gel stuff. Very similar to sort of a like soap brow type thing. So in here you get the bare brows and then you get this little, oh my god, it's got a little tiny little brush on the end. But you get a spoolie to you know, stick them up with. Oh no, now my hands are so slippery, I can't open it. Oh shit. Oh my God, how am I actually gonna do this? Ah. <laughs> James. <laughs> we got it open. Brow lamination all day. No white cast, no water activation needed. Not a brow soap. Okay, cool. Most extreme lifting brow wax you will find on the market for the very best price. I'm excited. I am not so excited about the sun though, ruining my vibes. Let me zoom you in. It smells like glue, but I kind of love the smell of it. And look, it's so clear. You can literally see all the way through it. The texture of it is kind of glue-like. I'm just gonna take a little bit. Can you see this? Obviously, if you do have a spoolie or something that you could bend, you might be better off using that because this one is a little bit small if you've got long fingernails. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can see immediately. You can really manipulate your eyebrows. Oh my God, look how long my eyebrows are. I need to trim them. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna be wearing them like this. So I have a few gaps in my eyebrows at the moment and I'm really confused because they never used to be there and I didn't pluck them. So I'm not too sure where the gaps have come from. Oh my God, if you wanted to do a soap brow like that, it is sticking them up. But that look is not for me. My eyebrows are so long, this looks really odd. <laughs> Wow, yeah, okay, it's really, it's really, really gluing down my eyebrows. It's doing exactly what it said that it would. Let's just try on the other side to use it more of like a gel instead of flattening them all the way down. Oh, but I have to match it to the other side. This one's now like flat against my skin. I'm gonna have to do the same, otherwise it's just gonna look odd. Wow, yeah, that's really, really, really stuck them down. So far, so good. Let's see if they drop out throughout the video. I know that I have a discount affiliate code with their lashes, but I'm not sure if my affiliate code would work for this stuff, but if it does, I will leave it linked down below. My discount code is just Soph, but let's wait and see how they hold up throughout the video. So the sponges and brushes that I'm gonna use in this video are actually new ones from Real Techniques. They sent them to me, 
maybe like a month or two ago and I just haven't got around to testing them yet. So I did dampen two of the sponges from, there was like a set that had three in, there was a tiny little mini one as well. This one is supposed to be a powder sponge because it's got like the little fuzzy bits on it, which I really like the feel of. And this one is just a regular sponge. To be fair, they actually feel really nice and soft. They feel softer than the Real Techniques original orange sponge. It's from their Prism Glow collection and I've also got the brush sets as well. So I'm gonna use these brushes throughout the video just to try some new drugstore brushes because I haven't tried any new Real Techniques brushes in a long time. I used to love them when I was younger. So I know that I've just put on a very glowy primer, but in my T-zone, I'm probably just gonna put this around my nose because this is where I get the most oily. I have been dying to try this. This is the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams Just the Cream Putty Primer. This is just gonna be the basic putty primer, isn't it? Just in a different packaging. It smells like cookies. I am a sucker for some cute packaging. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on my fingers and let's rub it together like this. And then I'm just gonna press and rub that into my nose, I guess. Huh, I think this feels a little bit more slippery and sort of hydrating than the original putty primer. Doesn't feel as sort of mattifying. Not that you can see anything because the sun is severely washing me out. It says that you're supposed to wait for it to set for about 30 seconds and then it goes a little bit sort of tacky feeling. So for my foundation, I've got the Body Shop Fresh Nude Foundation and I've got the shade Light 3W. It's not technically drugstore, but it's also not high-end. It's 18 pounds. You know, like it's not luxury, but it's definitely not drugstore. It's that sort of like mid-range price, but I don't have another new drugstore foundation to test and I've really, really been wanting to test this because they have 40 shades of this foundation, which I think is so great. So see how we go with it. It's got a interesting applicator slap some on your face oh hang on that applicator is actually quite sharp hey, what the heck the uh corners of this are like sharp plastic i have just put quite a lot on blend this in i think that shade is pretty good it does actually look really nice it definitely feels very hydrating the sponge is pretty nice it is soft it's a pretty good drugstore sponge that has got more coverage than i was expecting it to yeah, look how glowy my skin looks. It looks incredibly fresh. I thought it was gonna have really light coverage. I did put quite a lot of it on though, but look at my skin right now. Okay, just a little closer up shot of my skin. I think it looks pretty nice. I'm just gonna do some concealer because I don't have a new one to test. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. Just because this oxidizes slightly on me and I don't have a lighter shade, I'm putting a little tiny this isn't a little tiny bit. I've just put way too much on. It's the Revolution Concealing Correct Concealer in white. I didn't want literal white under eyes. That was just way too much concealer in general. Are there any new drugstore foundations or concealers that you guys would like me to test? Because I did go into Super Dragon Boots the other day and there wasn't really any that sort of jumped out at me. However, two things that did jump out at me were from Revolution. This is their new Fast Base Contour Stick. I went for the shade Light. And also this, which is the Revolution Pro Hydra Bright Cream Blush in Pink. To be honest, I don't tend to go for contour sticks like this because I never use this sort of highlighting shade because usually that it's just like a not very great concealer, if I'm honest. They usually just feel a, like not the best. This actually does look very light. I'm not even sure if this is gonna be the right shade for me. Yeah, that looks really, really light. Oh well, we'll give it a try anyway. Let's see how it goes on. Yeah, what the heck? It's kind of like just one shade darker than my foundation. Maybe I would need to go for medium then, because look, that's just not really showing up at all. Oh, that is such a shame. I've had this for weeks and I've been waiting to test it. And all this time, I've just not had the right shade. I'm going to blend this out with the Real Techniques Luminous Skin Brush. Not that you can even see it. It literally is just disappearing into nothing. I am so disappointed about that. This is just way too light that you can't even see it. It's a shame because the actual product itself seemed to go on pretty nicely. It was very creamy, but I can't really see how it's blended out because I can't see where it is. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my Made by Mitchell bronzer because I don't actually have a drugstore bronzer that I can use. This is the Made by Mitchell blush bronzed in the shade Shady Business. I've basically been trying to find a really good drugstore cream contour because there are some decent drugstore cream blushes, but I'm yet to find an amazing drugstore cream bronzer from a brand that I love. I shouldn't have really used this big of a brush to blend out my nose contour. Okay, let's try the blush and hopefully this one doesn't
doesn't let me down as much. Don't get me wrong, the formula of that contour thing was nice. It's just the shade that is just wrong. So this is the Revolution Pro Hydra Bright Cream Blush in Pink. Look familiar? This looks incredibly similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one, but let's see. Because the previous dupe that I tried from them, it just was a bit disappointing because it was a bit too sticky and sort of took off my foundation. However, this one is much better. That is pretty nice. But I wish it had a little bit more pigment because it's sort of like... Actually, on my nose it looks pretty pigmented. It does look really pretty. I do actually really like that. It's not quite as pigmented and like blushy as the Charlotte Tilbury one. This one is more of like a, I guess like a pink toned highlighter, whereas the Charlotte Tilbury one is also a pink toned highlighter, but it's got more of that like pink color payoff in there. I think it does look quite pretty. What do you guys think? For my powder, I saw this in Super Drug the other day, but I've never tried this. It's the MUA Loose Setting Powder. And they had, I think, four different ones, but this is the Mattifying Translucent one. It looks a slight yellowy color instead of just... The whole sifter came off. I was trying to peel the sticker off, but the whole sifter just came straight off. Yeah, so it's a slightly yellowy color instead of just plain white, which I liked because I do like my powder to have a little bit of color. I'm gonna use that with this sponge, which is the Real Techniques one that's slightly fuzzy. I love the feeling of these, which is supposed to be really good for powder. So I'm gonna dip into, holy shit, that's a lot. I put a lot of it on thinking that it would maybe like blend out quite easily and maybe sink in a little bit. And basically it's not really blending out or sinking in the more that I'm going over it. It does feel quite thick, but I did put a lot on to be fair and I don't sort of like bake with all of my powders, but I have them recently. So I thought I would just give it a try. So I'm just gonna see if I can use this brush to sort of dust some of that away. But I'm also just using the brush to apply this to the rest of my face instead of packing it on my whole face just to see what it feels like. Oh my God, why have about 10 hairs just come out of this brush? Okay. Just a little bit confused about this powder. I don't think I like this powder. Let me just try it with my regular powder brush. I think mm, even in the places where I didn't use the sponge and I put it on with my brush, I feel like for some strange reason, it sort of like emphasized the texture massively on my face and on my forehead. And it just feels quite a dry powder. But at the same time, I don't know, I'm confused. Like it feels drying on my skin, but it doesn't feel like it's fully set my makeup. Most of my powders don't emphasize my texture. Like if anything, I want my powder to sort of like smooth over texture. Sorry, can I pinky? For my blush, I got these two in Boots the other day. I didn't realize that Boots was now doing Milani, but I got two new shades of their blush because we all know I love the Milani Lumino. So these two, I've never tried and they looked nice to me. So I got the shade Berry Amour and Rose Doro. I think I'm gonna go for the rose one. Because when I powdered that Revolution one kind of completely disappeared, <laughs> which is a shame because it did look really pretty, but I did have to powder my face. It's got quite a lot of glow in it, which I actually really like. I think that color's beautiful. It's a bit deeper than the blushes that I usually go for, but I really like that. Then for my highlighter, I have this, which is the Candy Haze Revolution Jelly Highlighter in the shade Fantasy. When I used to have a jelly highlighter from a brand that was really expensive, I can't remember the brand name, but it worked on top of powder. And I have a feeling that this is also gonna work on top of powder. I could be wrong, but usually jelly highlighters seem to sort of be all right. Oh my God, why does it kind of look like raw meat. <laughs> Take a little bit of this on this brush and kind of sort of, I guess, stipple it onto my cheek. Maybe a brush isn't even the way forward for this kind of product. Probably better to actually just use my fingers, but I mean, that is actually really nice. Wow. And it has actually, amazingly, blended in to the rest of my makeup without disturbing the makeup underneath. But I think it would actually work even better with my finger. So I'm just gonna take a little one to the back of my hand first. It's quite thick. It actually looks beautiful on camera. It, it, on this side of my face for some reason, it actually seems to be emphasizing my texture a little bit more on that side where I used my finger, which is odd. But you know what? When it comes to cream highlighters these days, do you remember back in the day, if anybody watched my videos years ago, I could never, ever, ever get cream highlighters to work for me or liquid highlighters. But now, I think it's just more about like how you use them. And I guess I used to wear such 
thick matte foundations that they just would not work. I'm gonna put a little bit down my nose. I do quite like it, but the only thing is, it is quite a thick formula, so you can really see it on your skin. I don't really know how to explain what I'm talking about. It sort of does look like a layer on my skin rather than melting in with the rest of my makeup. If that makes sense. I do still quite like it though, but maybe I shouldn't have brought it as far in as I did. I have also got this, which is the Revolution Freckle Pen, which came out a while ago. It's not really a pen, is it? Freckle pen, that's not a pen. Freckle liquid, maybe. Oh wow, that's really dark. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Um, okay, that's not quite like the freckle pen that I was used to. This is not what I planned and it's not blending out. Shit. It's making little lines rather than little dots because it's very flexible. It's actually really hard to do it in dots and not little lines. No, this is not it for me. Why is it not working? It dries really, really quickly. And then once it's dried, it sort of like sets, which I guess for like a freckle pen, you want to be able to blend it out. And for me, this is not the right shade either. I think if you had deeper skin, this would probably be a better shade. But for me, it just looks like it's not like the color of freckles. It's like a dark, dark brown. I just can't, I can't get it to work. What am I doing wrong? It's all just staying on my finger, drying immediately and then not coming off onto my face. I think this one, this particular freckle pen, I think would be better to do actually before you powder and then put your powder on over the top of it to sort of like dull it down a little bit. You blend it out immediately and it just doesn't budge. <laughs> Normally you can sort of like stamp them around your nose a bit, but that's not, that's not for me. And even with my beauty blender, it's not like taking any of the color away. I'm so confused. It just looks really odd. It looks like I've accidentally drawn eyeliner on my face. Well, that was a fail. By the way, my eyebrows are still stuck. I like that bare brow stuff. For my eyes, let me just zoom you in. I picked up this the other day in Superdrug. It's the NYX Shadow and Liner Primer, the ultimate eye base. And I had just never seen anything about this before. So I want to see how good it is. It doesn't look like it's going to have coverage. Try it anyway. Yeah, okay. It's, it's more of like a clear color. I thought it would maybe be similar to like the Beauty Bay eye base. Where it's got some pigmentation. But it actually kind of just feels like a sticky glue sort of consistency. <laughs> so I'm taking the Real Techniques eye set. And it's got one of those little foam things where you can swirl the colors off your brush. Which I really like. I'm going to use this. Which is the new Revolution Lion King collection. And this palette in particular. I actually do quite like the look of because you've got a mix of colors and neutrals and i'd seen this look on pinterest okay i don't know how well this is gonna go which was sort of like an abstract makeup look and it is by a girl on instagram called s antoinette she is an incredible makeup artist but she did this gorgeous sort of like abstract looking eye and i want to do something similar i don't quite have the exact same colors that she had but let's try and do something fun so i'm gonna take the blue first which is called zazu let's see how well this sticks Okay, it seems to be sticking decently well to that eye primer, to be honest. Swirl on my little swirly thing. I'm then going to zip into the orange, which is called I'm Home. And I'm going to put this just below it in a little splodge. I'm just not the biggest fan of this eye primer. Because <laughs> you can sort of see my skin underneath it. I just prefer my eye bases to be a bit more pigmented so that you can't see my eyelid coming through it. Then I'm going to take Problem Free Philosophy. Problem Free philosophy. I'm just gonna put this in the middle of my eye. This is not quite going <laughs> to plan. I just think that if I'd have used my regular eye primer, it would have come out, like the orange especially would have come out more pigmented because you can just see my skin underneath it, which is really annoying me. But I will blend that along anyway. I might mix in a bit of this one actually called Sunrise, just onto that orange here to try and intensify it a bit more. I don't know whether to take this off and start again. I'm then going to dip into the yellow. It's just making the colours come out really like wishy-washy. And the more that I try and blend them together, it's just disappearing. It could also be the palette. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to put on my Beauty Bit Eye Base and I'll be back. I've just been sitting here for like 10 minutes like, do I continue with this video? I don't know whether to finish it. My eyelids are stinging. My skin now looks horrible. I was just looking at it in the mirror and my skin just looks so textured. I don't know what is going on. Wait, let me show you a close up. Like my forehead looks all bumpy. My cheeks look all bumpy. My under eyes look awful honestly i was enjoying how my makeup looked until i put the powder on and i think it might be the powder that's the culprit so i'm gonna try again with this eye but i'm not gonna do what i was planning to do i'm gonna just start with some pink i think it's the eyeshadows the blue was fine but the pink and oranges are just so like 
I'm wishy-washy. Where do I go from here? Because if I take this off now, like my eyes are already stinging. I just feel so defeated. It started so strong and it's just all gone wrong. Also, the freckles on my face now look like a weird greeny blue colour. Kind of just looks like I've got fallout all over my nose. I'm going to use this e.l.f. cookies and cream eye crayon. Oh, this feels very creamy and pigmented actually. It's got like little bits of blue glitter in it. This is also from the Cookies and Cream collection. Oh my god, look at that. I look like I've been punched in the face. Let's blend out the edges of this, just with a slightly more dense brush. Maybe I shouldn't have put this all over my whole lid, actually. It's quite intense, but it's actually pretty pigmented, you know? Just gonna do a second layer. Let's take one of the neutrals from this palette. I'm gonna take this one, which is like a warm brown, which does not go with this cool brown that I've just put all over my lid, but whatever. I'm gonna use that on the edges. <laughs> and I think, honestly, what I'm gonna do is just cover this in a crap ton of shimmer. Wait, let me just do the same on the other eye first. Get up to the same point. You do have to work with this quite quickly because they do dry, like it does dry pretty damn fast. You've just got to try and work as quick as you can. My eyes have been through it today. It's alright, I think this would be really good for like a smoky liner, maybe not necessarily all over your lid like I just did. I'm going to take the shade Rafiki first, which is like a bronzy colour, and I'm just going to put this all over. From what was supposed to be a really fun colourful look has just turned into the most like basic, not even good. To be honest, I don't even know if this video is going to make it to YouTube. Because <laughs> it has just been such a shit show. <laughs> then let's take a little bit sh bit of this shade called Pride Rock. Even the shimmers, like they're all right, but they're just quite like thick and a little bit chalky. Taking the shade Pumba, which is this one, onto my lower lash line. Guys, I'm so sorry that this video has been such a fail. Normally when I get into these moods where I'm just like not feeling it, I just try and like push through and make a video that's entertaining. But today and this week, I've just really been struggling and it's quite difficult when you're sort of like struggling mentally a bit to sort of sit down and create a video that's entertaining and fun. Funnily enough, the black from this palette is actually really pigmented. Shame about the rest of them. Actually, the neutrals have been fine. It was just like the pastel -y shades that I tried that just didn't do it for me. I'm just taking the shade called Look Inside Yourself, which is this one. The lightest sort of like satin finish, sort of a shimmer. The liner is not how I want it to be, <laughs> but I'm going to keep going. It almost looks blue. For my mascara, I've got this L'Oreal Air Volume Mascara. And this is the new one, because I really like the original, but this is the 30 hour one. So let's see what it's like. Hmm, pretty nice. So I ended up doing three coats on my top lashes, and I do really like it. It seems very similar to the original, but I guess maybe it just lasts longer. But then who's going to wear their mascara for 30 hours? I don't know, I'm a bit confused. <laughs> I also just realised that I didn't finish my eyebrows, they're just stuck. It's so frustrating because this video started out so well and then it's just increasingly got worse and worse and now I really dislike how my skin is looking but I don't know if it's the powder, I don't know if it's the foundation, I don't know if it's the primers that I use, like I've got no idea what the culprit is because everything is new on my face. What a week. If anyone else is having a shit week, I'm fully with you. Hopefully next week will be better. Finally, for the lips, I've got these Revolution Lip Contour Kits. They did very kindly send me these. And I've also got this, which is the 17 Lacquer Gloss in the shade Glitter Nude. It looks really, really pretty. It's just got tiny little, tiny, tiny little flecks of glitter in it, but not like chunky glitter at all. I'm gonna go for the shade, what shade are you? Lover. So you get a, I think it's a liquid lipstick. It just says lipstick on it. And then you also get the lip liner as well which is far too light for me okay i'm gonna go for the shade divine instead which is a more brown toned one in the hopes that the lip liner will be a bit darker i thought that because it was called lip contour the lip liner would be slightly darker but they seem to be pretty similar in terms of the lipstick and the lip liner nice lip liner though i really like this color and then i'm gonna fill in the middle with the lipstick yeah they're pretty much the same shade feels quite thin actually Tastes a little bit chemically. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this other one and put a tiny bit in the center. Ooh, I like that color. You know what? Those shades together actually work really nicely. I'm just gonna wait for it to dry. I thought it was gonna feel really thick and horrible, but yeah, let's see how it feels when it dries. 
What a bloody whirlwind. If this video does make it onto YouTube, I'm really sorry. <laughs> because I, I like, I've not been in the best mood this week anyway it just then you know when you're like not feeling great and then stuff just keeps going wrong and then it all just sort of like sets you off i feel like this might not have been the most entertaining video to watch mm. you know what that is a nice liquid lipstick formula can you see how i can do this without my lips like sticking together like glue but yeah this is the finished makeup look i mean the eyes were not what i was expecting to do i'm not a fan of them i don't like how they turned out and my skin for some reason just looks so textured and i think it was the powder but then it could be the primer and it could be the foundation i just don't know this is it in the sun because the sunlight has now decided to come out also why is that black eyeliner blue like it just looks straight up blue in the sunlight and it wasn't even eyeliner was it eyeshadow the annoying thing is my skin looks all right on camera but it's just it's just not it i'm gonna go now i hope you are all doing okay i'm sending you lots of love if you're having a bad week next week will be better and i will see you in the next video bye wait i forgot to put the gloss on i did not realize that the doe fits look like this let's put the gloss over the top it doesn't actually pick up what the fuck <gasps> oh my god wait okay wait watch this can you see that i stood it up and it was all like flying away <gasps> little bits are like flying off into the sky as if this video could not get any weirder the gloss looks pretty but it is quite a sticky one it smells like a sweet shop it smells incredible and it looks beautiful but it is quite sticky that's me done. I'm going to go. See you soon. Bye.